What's good, Josh? It's Kyle McCoy. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers, and that subscriber helps. And you know, just subscribe, man. Like the video, all that good stuff. But we got one of the first trades of the, M of the 2021 NBA offseason. And the New Orleans Pelicans were able to send Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams and the 10th pick and another pick from the Lakers and another pick that's their own in you know, the second round. They were able to send all of that to the Memphis Grizzlies and, and they got back Jonas Valanciunas in the 17th pick. And I think that upon first looking, it looks like, you know, New Orleans was able to dump a bunch of bad contracts on Memphis. And it looks like New Orleans, you know, handily won this trade. And I do think they won the trade, but I don't think it's as bad for Memphis as I originally thought. Because when I first got a notification, I'm like, dang, they got, they sent Eric Bledsoe's on a bad contract. They sent Steven Adams on a bad contract. But they did all that just to get to 10. And t the 10 overall draft pick is a good pick, but it's not something that you're willing to, you know, kill your cap stakes for. But Eric Bledsoe, after this season, he's gonna, he's only he's not gonna have that bad of a contract. And it's been reported a few minutes after the trade came out that he's not even gonna play for them, so it could be a buyout. They could redirect him somewhere else. So they're not gonna absolutely kill their spacing, perhaps. And Steven Adams, I do think his contract is bad, but he's still a starter level big man in this league. He's still a you know a capable starter. He's not the best. He's not really a leader anything. He's a good rebounder. He sets hard screens. And he's, you know, he's man on defense. He's good on dump offs, you know, easy pick and roll dunk, stuff like that. I don't think he's worth his money, but I don't think it's that, that bad. But the Memphis Grizzlies moved up to 10 because they really, really keyed in on the guy. And when you move up in the draft, between 10 and 17, you're probably going to get the same, like, caliber of player. But if you have your eye on, you know, a guy who you really, really, really want, then I can, you know, totally get behind moving up. It's, it, it's been reported that the Memphis Grizzlies really want Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy is the 6'8 Australian dude, the pass and all that, like the really good playmaking dude. And I like that. I like that they're thinking of adding somebody like Josh Giddy to the core. So now the core is Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman, Dylan Brooks, John Morant, obviously, Josh Giddy now, and Jaron Jackson Jr. And I really, really like that, you know, cap space for them. Not cap space, I really like that core for them. But speaking of cap space, when you're a rebuilding team, you don't really have to worry a lot about cap space. So I think taking over the Adams contract is not the best thing, but when you're a when you're a rebuilding team, you're probably not trying to win right now, obviously. So you don't have to worry about having the cap space to sign dudes. If you just want to develop your young players, and you know, they all oh, forgot to mention, Kyle Anderson, he's a really good guy that the Memphis usually have. But this trade had like bigger implications for the for the New Orleans Pelicans because now that they've signed these, now that they've gotten rid of those big contracts, they freed up the cap space. If they relinquish Lonzo, I believe, they freed up the cap space to sign Kyle Lowry. And Kyle Lowry is an all-star talent. He's a really great defender. He's a really great, you know, uh, point guard. He's a really great facilitator. He's a good scorer. And he's really just the kind of talent that, you know, if you have a Zion, you have a Brandon Ingram, and you want to win now. And it's been said that the Pelicans want to win now, and I think they should try to win now, because Zion, a special guy like that, kind of accelerates what you can do. Like, you can make the moves right now to, you know, make deep playoffs runs. And Brandon Ingram is another all-star talent who I think, you know, I made a video about this not too long ago, who I think is not too, you know, not too bad as a player. And well, that, that, that's the wrong thing to say about Brandon Ingram. I think Brandon Ingram is very good. So now you have Kyle Lowry. Now you have Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. You added Kyle, you add Kyle Lowry to be a good point guard, facilitator dude for Zion. Because you see when, when Lonzo Ball and Zion were on the floor together, it looked a lot easier for Zion. So now when you add an even better point guard, an even better passer than, than Lonzo and Kyle Lowry, now you're just talking about a whole different level of Zion that we're not going to see. And when you add Jonas Valanciunas, who can space the floor a little bit, who's a good rebounder, who's a solid defender inside, and who's a good, you know, pick and roll partner for Kyle Lowry. And Kyle Lowry has, you know, kind of chemistry with him already from playing in Toronto. I think that's a good squad. So now they're going to have Kyle Lowry, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, Zion, JV, Jonas, Jonas Valanciunas at the, at the five. I think that's a pretty good start of the And I think the Pelicans, you can pretty much pencil them in to make the playoffs. Obviously, we have to see what, you know, other teams do with moves and other teams in the West. But I think adding three, having three all-star level talents on your team is a hell of a way to, you know, introduce Zion and Brandon Ingram to the playoffs. And I think that the Pelicans, they David Griffin kind of came up off of the bad stuff he did last season. It was just course correction. I think that 
this is going to be the you know one of the best moves that we see in this offseason and i think it's going to be fun you know kyle lowry brandon ingram zion brandon ingram going to have space now he can get to the rim more he can he doesn't have to take you know contested shots as much zion zion's gonna have more space it didn't look to affect him that much but it's still best to have the, the most space on around somebody you can and kyle lowry has a chance to you know use his leadership and lead a young squad to the players i think it's a win-win-win for all teams and Kyle Lowry gets to, you know, get paid that big contract he wants. So I think it's a win-win-win for, you know, everybody involved. I do think that the Pelicans won this trade overall, but depending on whoever the, the Grizzlies pick at 10, depending on how they pan out, I could definitely see this being more even than it looks right now. But I like this, man. I like it a lot. And let me know what you think about this trade in the comments section down below. And if you see anything in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.